Welcome to another video. Now, I'm just gonna do a quick update on what I've done to the vehicle in the last week. Uh, I didn't have my camera with me, so I didn't record it, but I'll just talk about it before I go into the time lapse of me replacing all the fluids in the car. So, first things first, I did remove the rear badge. Uh, gives it a nice, clean, smoother look, which I like. Um, I connected the stop light in the bar now to do that i was originally going to go off the original stop light in the in the roof though when i removed this it wasn't plugged into anything so i took the roof lining out and didn't find any wiring so who knows even if that was working from the beginning um, so what i did then was i removed the tub i connected the wire from here i just drilled a hole into the side of the tub and ran a wire all the way to the left hand stop lamp uh, tail light and connected to the stop light um, and when I had the tub out, I then changed the fuel pump and the fuel sender. Now, that didn't fix the issue with the fuel gauge, but I'm glad I did that anyways because the fuel filter on the actual bottom of the pump was all hard and brittle and rusty. So I'm glad I replaced that. Uh, threw the tub back in. Um, if you remember in the last video, I spoke about the wheel nuts. I had a bit of an issue taking them off. Let me just grab a wheel nut and I'll explain why. So, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the original wheel nut. Um, as you can see, like, that moves. It's like it's a cover on top of the actual wheel nut. So what was happening when I was putting the socket on, it was just spinning on that cover and it wasn't grabbing onto the actual wheel nut underneath. So I've just replaced that with uh, solid wheel nuts all around, uh, which does a much better job. Um, as for the gauge now, there's a few things that I've seen. So people say that um, it could be from the cluster being replaced and it needs to be recalibrated. Now, this vehicle isn't a genuine SS. The previous owner just put SS interior in it. Uh, it did come out genuinely with a LS1 and a T56 transmission. Um, so what people say is like you can reconfigure that, but I don't know if that works and how true that is. But the only issue is when I was driving for a week, the gauge works. It just means that when you start using petrol, the gauge goes up. So a bit of a bonus. So when you're driving, you, it looks like you're actually winning petrol, but you're not. Um, the only real issue is that when you start the car, it does give you the beeps of like you need fill up if you've got a full tank um and clearly uh, i mean, I guess there's two issues that being one of them the annoyance of that and then the second issue is when you're getting low on fuel it doesn't tell you how many kilometers you got left um before you need to fill up so they're the only two things um that's that noise i was talking to you about other than that i'm just going to leave it for now i don't know what i'm going to do to fix that I did get a um, that dash pod uh, with the two gauges, so that came in yesterday. So I might fit that sometime next week. The only other real thing I've done is I replaced the headlights in the vehicle as well. Put two new headlights on there. Uh, fixed up this corner a bit as well to give it a bit more, um, just to make it look a bit nicer. Not that I really care about the outside, it's more the inside I care about. Uh, did wash the engine bay and I did replace the oil pressure switch. That was the issue I was having with that oil leak. Um, and I also put that uh, oil pressure sender on top of it so I can connect the gauge once I put it in. Other than that, I did put new discs and pads uh, I just put cross drill discs on there just because they look a bit better uh, and that's it really other than that I don't think I'm gonna do an update video on this car for a bit I'm just gonna drive it around enjoy it see if I like it um, if not we'll, we'll see what happens I'm guessing if there is gonna be another video it will be the installation or if I do tend to keep the car it will be the installation of the the dash pod uh, replacement of the SRS module um, and then just mainly a nice detailed clean of the interior if I'm going to go to that extent 
So without further ado, I'm just going to get into that time lapse and hopefully you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.